It's the end of the pier show. <laughs> what? It's a bit rocky. I don't think we're going to walk out there. No. But we are in Sitges once again. The sea is absolutely glorious behind us. I'm just breathing it all in. Marcus is loving every second of this. So let's start the show. Look at this, a lemon tree. M.M. Hotel, did they name it after me? This seems to be Hotel Central. Um, down by, I guess this is the, the east side of town? I'm not sure, I don't know my west from my east. Um, no, I think this is towards the back. Oh, is it? Well, I'm not sure. In any case, we are surrounded by hotels here, but the thing is, Paul picked one right in the middle of town, and he couldn't have picked a better one. So, well done! It, I'm not is, it is right in the centre of everything. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with these. These are down by the beach, so these would be great too, but if you want to be right in the middle of it, I think the one that we've got is just perfect. Look at the palm trees. This one has been stripped of its of its leaves, branches. I don't know if that's natural, but they're humongous. I don't think I've seen palm trees as big as this before. And it's an avenue of palm trees and an avenue of hotels overlooking the beach. It's quite nice. Look. It's a pink triangle. What does that mean? Well, that is the symbol of gay unity. Let's take a look. I think it represents combating homophobia. I remember when I was 18, I wore a pink triangle badge and people at work were saying, Oh, what's the pink triangle for? And I had to be a little bit circumspect about it. Mind your step. Shall we risk it? Mm, maybe not. Wait. It's a bit rocky. It's a bit windy as well. No, I don't think we should walk any further. Good, just not doing anything. Hmm. I think you need moments like this on a holiday too. Yes, I know that we should be busy doing this, doing that, seeing this, seeing that, going shopping, having coffee, having beer, having all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yep. It's always good. But then sometimes you just have to sit down and relax and not worry. Oh, did I forget to do this? Oh, are we going to be late for this? It's like, no, just don't do that. Just sit down, take it all in and make the most out of it because you're only here for a short amount of time. So why don't I just do that?
One thing I've noticed about Sitchies is that there is confetti everywhere. Look. It is pretty though. Look at the rainbow flag seat. I think it's just waiting for us. What do you think? Yes. Look, isn't this fabulous, the seat? Just 22 miles southwest of Barcelona, Sitges sizzles with beach life, late night clubs, and an enviable festival calendar. Sitges has been a resort town since the 19th century and was a key location for the Modernisme movement, which paved the way for the likes of Picasso. These days, it's Spain's most famous gay holiday destination. In July and August, Sitges cranks up the volume to become one big beach party, while Carnival unbridles the town's hedonistic side. Sitges is a classy destination. Its array of galleries and museums belie its small size. There's a good choice of upmarket restaurants in its historic centre, which is lined with chic boutiques, and the October Film Festival draws culture vultures from miles around. The town is quieter during the off-season, but you can still get a feel for it. Look, the hands of friendship. One thing which I must always enjoy when I come to Spain is a café con leche, coffee with milk. You just can't beat it. It doesn't taste the same anywhere else. One thing which I must always enjoy when I come to Spain is a café con leche, coffee with milk. You just can't beat it. It doesn't taste the same anywhere else. El Greco and his full name was Domenicus Theotokopoulos. So who was El Greco then Paul? He was widely known as El Greco, a Greek painter, sculptor and architect of the Spanish Renaissance. El Greco was a nickname and the artist normally signed his paintings with his full birth name in Greek letters. Oh look, I think I can see their balls. <laughs> ah, this is Santiago Rusinol, who we came across in our last episode. And his mate, Raymond Casas.
The architecture around Sitges is just amazing. Look at this house behind me. I'm not sure what it says, but I think she's a grape seller. Something very fishy. It's a mermaid. And again, unfortunately, because of the YouTube's policy on nudity, we cannot show you the entire statue. Even statues take precautions these days. Well, you can't come to Spain and not do tapas for lunch, and that's what we're doing here in this lovely little bar. Lots of celebrities on the wall. I see Rafael Nadal there. Hey look, there's a space for us. It's Marcus and Paul on the wall. What did you think of the tapas? Some of it was very fishy. Yes, um, it was self-service and um, you just went on site. So there was like spicy sausages. What I thought was a patatas bravas actually turned out to be tuna. And then there was a sweet one, A sweet one, which was, we worked out that it was, it was, a, ban banana. It was a banana. Uh, you didn't know what it was. No, uh, the, the substance of it as well, the texture was like really, what, what is this? It's a very, uh, very <clears throat> gooey consistency. I actually thought it was a <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, no, it, it, it was fruity. Um, yeah, so highly recommended. Thanks for watching the show. Please continue to comment, like, and especially subscribe. Thanks. I'm hungry, but it's only half past eight at night, and tonight we are being Spanish, so we won't be eating till 10, maybe even 10.30. <gasps> yes, I know. Oy vey. Which still gives us two hours drinking time. Yay! Oh wow, look at those lanterns. I love these little streets, don't you? Very, very continental. We are in a very quiet part of town at the moment, but we're going to head into where the buzz is happening right now. Did someone say whiskey? Well, it is Wednesday. 
<laughs> oh my gosh! Didn't we see those ice creams the other day? So we are on the main strip that is where the gay bars are located. And we went into this cafe last night. Um, this is called Montreuil Cafe. And we actually went here um, the first time we came to Sitchi. And about two years ago. And it's very nice. They do the best burgers in town, so they say. I say so too. So why don't we keep going and we're going to go to Parrots and also another one if we come across it. Where are we coming up to, Marcus? Well, we've got Parrots over here, but when we were walking through the town earlier, I saw Parrots over there as well. Um, now that one is closed. Shall we go to Parrots then? Why not? Shall we go to Parrots then? Why not? Central bar, we haven't been in there yet. Shouldn't we see what it's like? Otherwise, I don't want to be making a uh, judgment on it without experimenting it, correct? Okay, so let's, let's get check going. It. So we are al fresco, which we couldn't have done the previous night because it was, it slashing, was it down. slashing it down with rain. But tonight is a different proposition entirely. So cheers, everyone. I don't know about you, Marcus, but I do like the Spanish nightlife. Well, you have to remember that it starts very late. So if you want an early night, you're going to miss it all. You could go out early in the evening. Um, places, no one's there. Well, places will be open, but they'll be empty. If you want them all to yourself, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we want a little bit of life, don't you? Of course. That's what we came here for. So now it's time to not get... Like, not like boring old England, eh? <laughs> so now it's time to get the party started. Mm. Cheers! Well, after a few drinks, we need to eat. Yes, we do. Well, I think we're going to go to this chicken place, restaurant La Oca. Because we have seen the rotisserie chicken in here, haven't we? Hola. I think you want to eat here. Hola. Hola. Chook chook chicken, Paul. <laughs> Are we having the chicken? No. No, we're having the pizza. Of course we are. To soak up all that beer. <laughs> so let's get eating. Well, I did say to soak up all that beer, but there's more beer. 
<laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> So how was your pizza? Oh my gosh, it was so delicious. It soaked up all the alcohol. Is it time to sleep now? I need to wash my hair first. Oh well, good night. Not yet. Where are you going? Well, it looks as though it's time to shut up shop here in Sitges. Oh, way too soon. What was your highlight, Paul? There were so many that um, it's really hard to pinpoint. But if I had to choose something, possibly be the beach and the waves, I guess. Well, it's always good to see the sea. And I think for me, well, I enjoyed going to the bars and the tapas was good. And just, just enjoying this weather, I think, you know, when the sun did shine, and it is shining now, um, it is relatively warm. And your low light, if there was one, the rainy weather on the first day, for sure. Well, of course, for me, it was knocking over the drink, the first drink that I've had in Spain for over two years. And earlier on today, I walked in dog dirt. And luckily, I always carry a stash of cheap toothbrushes with me. And if you want a tip and trick, is that if you use one of those under hot water and also some antibacterial gel, it gets rid of the, the dirt and also the smell. Nice to know. Maybe just wear a mask while you're doing it. So we'll leave you with a few more views of Sitges and we'll see you on our next show. Bye for now. Bye.